If you just lowered your car and struggle to see at night, or if you just want better nighttime visibility, you might not want to pick up a set of brand new HIDs just yet, because we finally have full plug and play LEDs with a one to one ratio at the base, meaning that there's no need for any cutting, rerouting, or splicing wires. So let's find out if these new LEDs are really better than our current HID setup. With the wheel off, remove these two covers to expose the bulb so you can unplug it. Then turn the locking mechanism before wiggling the bulb free. The LED replacement we have from Bavinci claims to be three times brighter and comes with a three year warranty. So we'll test this at the end. The kit also comes with instructions and good protective packaging. In addition to the label, we see this is a pretty robust base that's basically a giant heat sink, but it does also have a fan to provide active cooling. So this should handle heat well, but just to be safe, we'll also coat it in. To save some time, let's test both bulbs here. This will also allow us to test the beam pattern of each bulb, which both were spot on. Don't worry about the color difference. In person, both are actually white. The more important thing is that the beam cutoffs of each bulb are in alignment with the OEM side, as it should serve as a good baseline since it should be properly aligned. Once both bulbs and their fans have been tested, lock this one into place and place back on the covers and wheel before doing the same on the opposite side. With both of them in, hook the car up to a battery tender and connect a bimmer code by a Bluetooth adapter. Select your chassis, then go into the front electronic module. Scroll down to LED conversion, then select low beam and high beam. Since they share the same bulb, both of these settings need to be active, along with the by xenon Once all three are active, hit code. You'll hear some chimes and see some error messages as you do this, but it will clear out once the coding is done. Now disconnect the adapter and tender so we can check it out. Here we have our baseline, followed by the HID, then the LED. Both bulbs reach out to just under 90 feet and six inches. Although the LEDs didn't go farther, it does appear to be brighter in the same area with a slightly wider spread. However, this shouldn't blind oncoming and approaching traffic because of the sloped edge and clean cutoff pattern. But if yours needs a little more fine tuning, here's how to do it. And I'll see you in that one.